They're the best two and three year olds in the country and tomorrow night they look to strengthen their growing reputation with Group 1 glory up for grabs. Yes, hello and welcome to The Sprint Lane. I'm Paul Cochran and it is a big night for the future stars of our sport with the APG Gold Bullion Series Finals to be held at Tabcorp Park, Menangle. Now on Tuesday, we saw the heats for the four-year-olds. Here's how it played out. Major Jared running on late, but Artillery is much too good for them. Artillery strong to the line, wins by 10 metres. Better be kept, Electra is going to have the last shot on the outside. Soho Omazi in front, but Electra moved up, took the lead, and Electra's going to be too good. Electra blew away the favourite there, he's going strongly. Ideal Dan will give them a galloping lesson, and he wins easily. Ideal Dan first. On Saturday, Jack Callaghan drove a treble, including a win in the feature, the Bill Green Bull Eye Cup. And Cash and Flo will win the Bull Eye Pacers Cup in second, the Mustang. Earlier in the night, Hannah Rickson drove her first Metropolitan winner with Gigi Bob, a mare owned and bred by her mother Cindy and trained by her dad Peter. Her brother Will had a winner at Penrith on Thursday. White is Little Cessna, our surf and safari, and Panacea's seal as heads are turned. Beefy Benson vulnerable. Back to the inside, probing for runs is Bella Bling, but there isn't one there. Winner Monza right down the outside, Panacea's seal, but Beefy Benson pinches it. On that program, Sophia Arvidsson continued her great run since moving to Sydney with a double for Blake Fitzpatrick. Josh Gallagher also had a winning double. At Newcastle on Friday, Adam Regari trained the first two winners on the program. Manho, the start of a driving double for Guy Chappell. The Clayton Harmy, Blake Hughes duo combined to win the last two of the evening. Sin bin gone, Skyfall 17 dashed to the lead and has it all parceled up. Skyfall 17 wins. Peter McRae had a great day out at Wagga on Friday, driving three winners and a couple of placings across the eight race card. He had a win at Kuhlman on Monday as well. They're getting roared at noticeably. Scotty Mac makes a dive, but too late. At the same time, Forbes held their Carnival of Cups meeting. Mitch Turnbull had a treble, driving three of the four winners for his dad, Steve. Amanda drove the other, part of a driving double on a dominant day out for the Turnbull family. The feature taken out by Bernie Hewitt. I'm a joyride through the centre, say Namelian. Smooth over arm, they're going to hit the line. I'm a joyride. I'm a joyride. Well done to the Forbes Club for putting on a great carnival of cups meeting and once again marking Anzac Day with an on-track commemorative service. Narrabri held their carnival of cups meeting on Sunday. Anthony Varga drove a double on that program. So did Dean Chapel, including the feature. And down the outside is Rock and Lachlan as well, but coming to the line, Asterism will win. Asterism too good. Now before I go, a little bit of news. I can tell you that the Harness Racing New South Wales board has approved a $15 million funding injection for our industry. The details will be revealed exclusively on In The Gig on Wednesday night, but I can tell you it's gonna make a huge difference to the harness racing industry across New South Wales. We have got a big week of racing ahead. Don't forget, you can see it all on Sky Racing. I'll bring you a full wrap of all the action next week on the Sprint Lane.